if starting to pray is hard, if you're trying to get to that higher place and it's it's proving to be so hard, we should not be striving in prayer. Then call upon the Lord. And this is what you do. You need to unburden yourself. You need to unburden yourself. The cares of the world. The pleasures of the world. The treasures of the world. What is in your mind that is blocking? It's all a mindset. It's a mindset situation. The Bible says we are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. We are seated in the heavenly realm with Christ Jesus. So if it's proving, it's hard, it's a strive to get to that place of worship, that place of intimacy, then unburden yourself. Unburden. Unburden. So let me give me let me give an example. So you get up in the morning like, yay, I'm gonna pray. It's four o'clock in the morning. Let me go spend time with God. You get there and you are singing, you're not getting there. You are praising, you're not getting there. You start to pray, you're not getting there. Push through. But the way you push through is, Lord, I, I'm aware that in my mind, I have this burden. I have this care. I have this concern. Let me give you my burdens. Let me give you my burdens. I am heavy laden. I am burdened. I'm going to give you this burden so my soul can gain rest in you. So my soul can rest in you. The Bible says in Matthew 11, 28 to 29, come to me. Come to me, says the Lord, those who are heavy laden and burdened, and I'll give you rest. My, I'm gentle and humble at heart. I'll teach you. I'm gentle. I'm humble at heart. I'll teach you and give you rest for your souls. God wants to give you rest for your soul. Your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. So something in there, something in there needs rest needs rest so you can rest in God so you can be still and know that he is God so you can test of his goodness and stay in his refuge okay so when you are struggling to pray you are struggling to worship you're struggling to get there don't just say it's so hard I can't pray quicken me to pray you can say you can pray the prayer of Lord quicken me to pray Holy Spirit quicken me to pray but I recommend when you feel that burden that heaviness unload unload give it to him the bible says in the the book of first peter that give him your cares because he cares for you i'll put the scripture up here give god your cares because he cares for you he's not a man to lie nor the son of man to repent when he says he cares for you he means that he truly means that he truly wants you to bring him your cares Philippians 4, 6 or 7. Like, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, with prayer and supplication, bring me all of your anxious thoughts. All of them. With thanksgiving. And I'll give you rest. I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you peace that goes beyond your understanding. And this peace will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. So the anxiety here could be that I'm trying to get to a higher place. I'm trying to pray. I'm trying to show God that I'm really praying. I'm trying to show God that I really can pray. I'm trying to show God that I love him with all of my heart, all of my soul, all of my might, and all of my mind. No. You show God you love him by rejecting the world, rejecting the flesh, rejecting what breaks his heart. So when you come into a time of prayer and it's... It's not a, oh, I'm sleepy or, hey, I am like struggling to pray. It's like you can't get to the higher place. It's a situation of being burdened down. An eagle flies high because an eagle is able to fly high. We are supposed to be like eagles when we, that higher place requires eagle, like intercessory eagle. It requires that you shed off the cares of the world you shed off the treasures of the world you shed off the pleasures of the world you shed off the performance before god shed it off like you know what i'm not here to perform lord i'm here to really and truly spend time with you i want to soar like an eagle holy spirit let's soar but in order for that to happen that soaring into higher places higher realms it requires that you unburden yourself lord i have this care I have this project that's due tomorrow. 
I might not make the deadline, but you know what? I'm going to give you this care right now so I can focus on you. The Bible says, when you go to pray, close the door. Close the door. That door is symbolic. It's not a physical door, y'all. It's symbolic of the mind being shut off from the world. That when a distraction comes, you shut that off. The mind is focused on God. The mind is focused on loving God, on thanking God, on meditating on his word. Close the door. Close the door. Unburden. Unburden. This is going on. Unburden. Listen, y'all. Um, it's sometimes you get in that place of prayer and the enemy comes in with, oh, you need to email that person. Let them know about that date. You need to email your father. Let him know about this. You need to email your cousin and let them know about this. No. Say, Holy Spirit, remind me when I'm, I'm out of prayer. Then continue. Continue. The enemy brings in distractions and distractions and distractions. He's projecting a distraction to you. Shut it down. Immediately shut it down and say, Holy Spirit, remind me of this when I am out of prayer and continue on. If it's a burden, if it's like something weighing on your heart, weighing on your soul, a conversation, say, Lord, I give you this burden. I'm unloading myself to give you this care because you care for me. And I truly believe, I truly know that you care for me. I'm coming to the awareness that you truly, truly care for me. Then you can worship. Then that soaring, that going to higher places is going to happen. Because you're not burned down with the cares of the world, the pleasures of the world, the like what's going on, who do you have to email, who do you have to call, who said what, unburden. Unburden. Unburn so you can soar like an eagle. Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall walk and not get weary. They shall run and not grow faint. Those that wait upon the Lord. Just being in his presence. Just loving on him. Just worshiping him. If it's seeming hard, unburden unload give him the anxious thoughts give him the calendar give him whatever it is that's causing you to become burdened to become heavy laden he'll teach you he's gentle he's humble and he wants to give you rest he wants to give your soul rest he wants to give your soul rest god bless you i hope this helps